Hi guys! My name is Christine and welcome to The Task of Being Christine. And this is a BookTok newbie tag. Yes, I have finally, finally, thank you friends and family for patience. I have finally launched my BookTube channel. <laughs> launched. So yeah, um, let's crack on and see what uh, what are my plans are and uh, yeah hashtag booktube newbie questions that apparently every new booktuber has to answer <laughs> it's kind of like whether we're gonna let you in our circle oh god hopefully hopefully i won't be left out in a cold and so why did you start this channel uh, well i started this channel um basically because i needed an outlet where i can talk about books where I can rave about books, where I can just express my love for the books. I, I'm i a reader. I've been a reader since a very small age. I was one of those really weird kids who, who read everything in the obligatory uh, literature, you know, that you had to read for every school year. Um, we were assigned it at the end of every um, school year. We were assigned to read uh, books during the summertime for the next <laughs> September. So, yeah, I was one of those kids who read everything and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so, yeah, but I opened, like, I started this channel to just join the community that I feel very passionate about. Booktube community. Hopefully you will accept me, guys. So, yeah, and the next question. Um, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to this channel? To the booktube. Oh, sorry. I have written in such a small handwriting that I can barely read these questions. Um, yeah, sorry, I have I have them written in my book, and uh, I'm just like leaning <laughs> leaning over, just trying to read them. Uh, but yeah, so so wait wait, what was the question? Back on track. Uh, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to the booktube? Do you mean aside from my sparkling personality? And there's an awkward silence. No, I mean. I am quite a weird character, I'm quite quirky and I'm an eclectic reader, so um, yeah, probably that, just a fresh perspective and I tend to burst into song at random moments as well and uh, I do funny voices when I feel a little bit nervous, I guess maybe that's a sign of schizophrenia. Well, we're not gonna delve into that, so <laughs> for booktube purposes, we're good. I think <laughs> we're good. And let's go to the next question. So, what are you what are you most excited about for your new channel? Just really making videos and learning editing and just um, keeping up with my reading because uh, you booktubers are readers. I mean, <laughs> that's a different level. I mean, my friends and family say that I read a lot, but I read like six, seven books a month and and according to booktube standards, that's average, okay? You know, I have seen some, some of my favorite booktubers like go through books like, whew, just cheese, guys. I mean, kudos to you. I love that. Um, but I guess it depends on the book as well. Anyway, next question. Why do you love reading? Hmm. It's um, a way to escape from reality. And sometimes when we're... I'm very sensitive to other people's energies as well. Yes, I went there, I feel energies, whatever, newbie, look. But I do. So whenever I say I've taken out too much of sort of the extroverted world, I need that um, introverted world and I, and I kind of just delve into a book and I'm so incredibly excited if I, if I delve into an incredibly good book, then that's just amazing. But I just, it's an escape. It's an escape. It's a, a, it's a trans, transformation. Book can um, uplift you. Book just gives you a completely different world. You have a chance to, to, delve, into, uh, to delve into author's mind. I think every author has a unique perspective and it doesn't matter whether they write fantasy or contemporary or you know children's fiction just 
yeah, I just love reading and I've always loved reading and my friends finally have realized that I love reading so much and uh, yeah, they they just know I'm a book person. So yeah, they're not surprised when basically all my wall is covered with books. Okay, uh, what, book, uh, what book or series got you into reading? Um, I was, I've been reading since I was very little, but the very first one which really stuck with me um, was uh, Mikhail Andy. I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly because he is not an English writer. Um, and he wrote a never-ending story. Yes, <laughs> the, the, the never-ending story that the movie is based upon. And I really, really, really loved it. I think it was like my first glimpse into fantasy and I was like, wow. This is really awesome. I really like this world. It's cool. But um, actually, funnily enough, Never Ending Story is not my favorite of his books. My favorite of his books, and I have it right here, is, I don't know if you guys have um, have checked this one out ever, uh, but I really recommend reading this, Momo. It's still so, still so relevant and so amazing. It's about this little girl who lives um, in a ruined uh, amphitheater, amphitheater, amph or or in trouble. A ruined amph amphitheater. Oh. I have never then learned to say this. Anyway, amphitheater, amphitheater, amphitheater. Lives in an amphitheater, amph a ruined amphitheater. Oh my god, I can't say it. It's Jesus Christ. Okay, a little girl who um, lives in a ruined theater. Uh, let's just put it that way, <laughs> because I can't say amphitheater. Oh, I said it now. Never mind. So yeah, she and uh, the local village just um, goes to talk to her. They start to kind of visit her just to check if she's okay, and and they start to talk to her. And this girl possesses a secret power. She is the best listener, and she just by listening manages to solve everyone's problems. Um, basically, people solve their own problems, but she just listens. And um, it's very interesting because after a while, um, these time lords, these gray men appear who steal people's times and suddenly people don't have any more time to visit Momo and talk to her. And, it, and it's um, a magical story and she is um, trying to get back her friends and trying to save time and trying to um, show how just by dedicating time to friends and family is so precious. I mean, this book is amazing. You should guys check it out. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite books and I reread it like once a year, once every few years. It's just, just, it's just from my heart. <laughs> anyway, um, so our next question. So, um, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Oh, um, how long did it take you to feel at ease with all of the booktube community and with just making videos and editing? Because, uh, I mean, for me at the moment, it's such a daunting task because I'm like, okay, everything is new and I have to start this channel and I have to put myself out there and, and I'm not sure people will like me. I hope they do please like me. No, okay, let's... It's fine. It's fine if you don't. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I get it. I get it. Um, so yeah, I mean... And uh, how do you keep it steady and just sustain it for a long period of time? Um, because obviously, you know, you have work and other things happening in your life. And, and I really appreciate uh, my favorite booktubers, you know, just being consistent. And um, yeah, how do you... I guess good time management skills, but how do you do that? Yeah, that would, I would like to ask that. And then the next question is, uh, what challenge do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Well, I guess I just touched upon them, didn't I? Um, but uh, yeah, just being consistent, I think is gonna be a challenge for me as well, because I, uh, I have such a busy, busy life. Um, I mean, it's a good thing that you're busy and uh, sometimes I tend to overdo things, but um, yeah, just keeping consistent and um, keep putting out content for you guys and keep up with my reading because the booktubers are not kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward uh, to 
doing readathons and just you know doing book hauls and TBRs and wrap ups and I'm I'm really excited about all of that and I hope you guys will enjoy my content and enjoy me uh, just like my weird little quirks um, so yeah I hope you will enjoy it and uh, just leave a comment talk to me you know if, if you do want to see me again please subscribe do not subscribe if you do want do not want to see me or you just want to put that I do not like her button. It's been, it's been crazy busy in January and um, hope your year has started well guys and um, yeah I will see you around and uh, book two newbies! Woohoo!